Are you tired of this happening to you? Well, then it's time for Noob Repair. Noob Repair. Noob Repair. Noob Repair. Oh, why did I have to get sick? Oh, hey. Mike Tendo here. Oh, I guess we gotta do an episode of Noob Repair. This is a really simple one. First off, I'm not feeling the greatest. I'm pretty sick right now. But you know what? At least I could hang out, spend some time resting, relaxing, and playing handheld games. Yeah. So, I don't know about you, but storage with handheld games has gotten pretty crazy. I'm actually a big fan of handheld games, and it sucks that they are so tiny and that boxes are so scarce and that they take up so much room when you do have them in boxes. So recently I saw a video on My Life in Gaming, and uh, they have a great channel. Check out their video. I don't know, it'll be somewhere on the cat. And they basically showcased uh, different ways to contain or you know properly display uh, loose Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance games. And so I got to thinking, and I looked at theirs and said, you know what, that's that's pretty good. Um, but I, I wanted to see if there was another alternative option. So I found one, and it only cost me $10, so I figured I'd show it to you. So the difficult thing was finding something that would fit both Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance games. Uh, in particular, the Game Boy Advance games are, I think, a little wider, but they're also smaller in terms of height. Well, I found this organizer. It's called Org. Well designed, well organized. Chrome cutlery tray. So this is something you can find in any Bed Bath and Beyond, and I picked mine up for ten dollars, as you can see there. And what you do with this? First, you take the box off, and then what you want to do is just fill up your game. So I'm going to show you how to do that, and that way you could see how the display looks and see if this might be a good option for you. So you can't fit them this way. So you've got to fit them sideways. But what's nice is that you can stack these. I like to do this with the Game Boy colors. I like to separate everything. It even fits the ones that have cases. And you can always wor worry about alphabetizing them later. Now for the Game Boy Advance games, those go on the side here. And those you want to face like so. And if you want to showcase your games a little bit better, you can always spread them out a little bit more. Games like this are a little bit wider, but they still fit. If you run out of room, you can always turn these to the side like this. However you want to do it, it's really up to you. Look at that. All my Game Boy games in one nice neat little package. So who knows, this might actually be a good solution for some of you who are looking to display your games out in the open without needing one of these like really awful containers that kind of hide them away and uh, have very limited space. And as you can see, I still have plenty of room for more games too. So as far as in total how many games, I mean I'm not sure how many because I again I haven't maxed it out. 
but I would say you've got at least room for, I'd say probably at least uh, 35 to 40 Game Boy games, and then for Game Boy Advance, probably a good um, maybe 30. So it's a, it's a pretty decent amount of room that you could fit. Um, if you want to pick this up again, it's at uh, any Bed Bath & Beyond that you could pick it up. You could also check it out on their website if you don't live, uh, buy a Bed Bath & Beyond. And uh, you know maybe other stores like maybe Walmart or uh, you know Target might have something like this, but it's uh, pretty cool. And uh, you know I saw it and I thought you know what that would be something really good, and that'd be a cheaper alternative than buying some of the stuff that you saw in the My Life in Gaming video. Um, again, shout out to those guys for doing a great job on that video. And uh, if you haven't watched it yet, go watch it. It'll be somewhere over here. Uh, that's all I got for Noob Repair Episode 4. I am going to take a long nap and rest up because I've got a lot of work to do to cover Pixel Tunes Radio. Dude, you haven't played this game, as well as more Noob Repair. Stay tuned, guys.